And welcome back to more Ace Attorney Investigation 2. We are down to the wire, I'm hoping, right at this point. Yes, we're down to the wire. We're about to beat Simon, hopefully. Let's get to it. What? What? My father? The one who abandoned me did the same thing? Who would have guessed that both father and son would use the same method? Objection. Stop it! Don't let me in with that guy! My father... I'm nothing like him! There's not a single connection between us! Objection. You may think so, but even now, your bond with Mr. Gustavia still remains. Didn't you say once before, I don't like sweets? That may have come from the shock of losing your father, don't you think? Even if you deny your father, aren't your thoughts and actions the same? Particularly your belief of sacrificing others to protect yourself. And finally, your crimes were brought to light just as his were. Uh... Uh... Whoa! Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay! I don't know anything about that warehouse. I had nothing to do with the kidnapping, after all. Oh my god! In order to threaten Judge Courtney, it's clear that you partook in the kidnapping. Objection. How scary! Those who get involved with you will be charged with all sorts of crimes. In the end, there's no evidence. For the instigation and for the kidnapping. None at all. Or what? Are you gonna forge some evidence? Just like Blaze and the rest? I'll do nothing of the sort. I can't let him provoke me. You always say, I'll pursue the truth no matter what. Right? HA! Don't you mean only the truth that's most convenient to you? After all, that's how the police pulled the wool over the eyes of those without power. And that's why my revenge was necessary. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> None of you can catch me! Not Patricia! Not Blaze! And not even you. Mr. Edgeworth, at this rate... Isn't there something, anything we can do? Even though all my logic points to this man, I just need evidence. Even a single piece of evidence would suffice. Well, it's been a fun show, but it looks like it's time for the curtains to close. If you'd like, why don't you come and see my next performance? I'll let you, if you admit defeat! Yeah! 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 <laughs> Wait, Simon, <laughs> calm down. I don't know who said that. <laughs> uh, who was that? Gummy! Oh my god, Gummy, are you coming to our rescue? Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Edgeworth. Gummy, where'd you go? I was just doing the job that I'm able to do, pal. Detective Gumshoe, your report, please. I need a quick investigation, sir, about the warehouse John was at. That refrigerated warehouse is currently being rented by... The Very Big Circus, just as Mr. Edgeworth said. <laughs> so it's finally here, our trump card. Well done, Detective Gumshoe. Now then, Mr. Keys. <laughs> there must be some mistake. Maybe it has something to do with the circus. I see. Indeed, we are not well informed about the affairs of the circus. In that case, why don't we get your boss's opinion on this? Regina. <sighs> we are renting a refrigerated warehouse to store the animal foods, but... I don't know much about the place. After all, I let Simon handle everything. Oh shit, your boss just outed you. 
curse you! Ah, uh, Simon! How scary! What a shame. It seems your desperate acts after the crime were in vain. If the body was found in the warehouse, suspicion would have fallen on you, the one in charge. That's why you specifically moved the body back to the Grand Tower, wasn't it? <sighs> However, us finding John confined at the warehouse was a fatal mistake on your part. Our resident great thief and detective are both rather exemplary. What's wrong? I can even I can even tell through your face paint that you're looking pale. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet, Mr. Edgeworth. Your logic is missing the most important piece of evidence. Oh, please do tell. Isn't it obvious? Evidence that I killed the body double with the balloon! You can't present it, can you? After all, there's no way such evidence could possibly exist! The evidence... It exists. What did you say? The flowers. If Mr. Keys murdered the victim, traces of the murder should still remain here. Take that. It should become clear once we examine the basket of this balloon. Yeah! <laughs> the balloon again? Didn't you already find the bullet hole? There's no way you'll find anything else there! That's... It'll be fine, right, Mr. Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth is a hero who always finds the truth no matter what he's up against. That's right, pal. Of course it's gonna be fine. Mr. Edgeworth has gotten out of more impossible situations than I can count. Miles, I believe in you too. But more importantly, I'm sure your old man's watching over you believe uh, I'm sure your old man watching over you believes in you as well. Feels. Miles Edgeworth, calm down and think. You're just one step away from the perfect proof. Well, why don't you just tell him? <laughs> the body double was killed by this balloon. The proof lies in the traces left on the basket. Simon Keys, it's time for you to atone for your crimes. I'll see it with my own eyes. The moment this past case is settled once and for all. Please. Prosecutor Edgeworth, deliver the final blow to this unforgivable person. This is the final piece of evidence that proves your crimes. What traces were left on the balloon that crushed the victim? The bouquet. Take that. The final evidence. When John found the body, a bouquet of lion lilies was there as well. Lion lilies? The flowers from Zhang Fa that represents the bond between parent and child. That's your evidence? Surely, they must be buried under a mountain of garbage by now. Moreover, the one who threw it away was John himself. That's not much of a bond now, is it? Ugh, that language of flowers stuff has nothing to do with this. Calm down, John. Certainly, you may have thrown the flowers away. However, I believe those emotions remain as strong as ever. Those bonds will surely protect you from that man, in the form of my final piece of evidence. What... the heck are you talking about? Those flowers were crushed. Ergo, they must have come into contact with the murder weapon. Perhaps we'll find the very same pollen still stuck to the basket of your balloon. No way, no way, no way! You guys examined the basket just a few moments ago! If there had been any yellow pollen stuck on there, wouldn't you have noticed it then? Objection. Mr. Keys, evidence is not restricted to what you can see with the naked eye. What? Emma. Yes! Would you perform one more scientific investigation for us? Actually, do it this time! Leave it to me! The balloon's basket, right? A reaction! This is clearly pollen from a yellow flower! We'll find out soon enough whether or not it's from the same flower! What?! <laughs> Take that! Is that checkmate? <laughs> I say this proves that. 
The body double's death was caused directly by your own hand. No way! That's... That can't be! I... You crush the body double to death on the roof of the tower. Then you retrieve the body and hid it in the warehouse. Why did he have to go to the trouble of retrieving the body? Two nights ago, he knew that a separate incident would occur at the tower. Ah, uh, Miss Cranes! Precisely. Leaving the body there would have disrupted his plans. I see. But even so, he couldn't leave the body in the circus warehouse either. Exactly. So the next day, when he was bringing the body back to the tower once again, he saw the small fire John started, which caused the Mozilla head to fall. Was that when the idea came to you? Your plan to pin the crime on John. Gah! You made you made it look like the murder weapon ha was the fallen head. Such foul, cowardly behavior. For that reason, you carried the bot double bot, the double's body to the balloon and lowered it into the film lot. At that time, the figure of the body double being lowered down by a rope. was captured in John's video recording. Damn! It was all... You saw through it all? Damn it! Damn you! You manipulated animals, you manipulated people, and you manipulated cases. Almost as if you were a king. However, it's now all come to an end. Simon, the animals have gotten angry! Even Money and Astique! You never thought of them as your friends at all! How sad! Damn it! Don't you look at me with those eyes! <laughs> it's about time you went back to being a mere clown. A fitting end to your pitiful jester's act. Ugh. Stay away! Get away from me! Stop it! Please stop it! Daddy, help me! I don't know anything! I didn't do anything bad! They were the bad ones, weren't they? Horace, why? If he hadn't done that, I... I couldn't even trust the police! Nobody would help me! But that man, back then, he saved me. The only one who helped was Dogen. So, I used everyone else. Stop it! Don't come any closer! Stop! Ow! 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 Yeah! Uh, not you. Ah! Oh, please! No more! Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> this breakdown punched by a gorilla It seems the game is finally over. Uh Shelly Shelly the killer Mr. Edgeworth, I must thank you. You have exposed the true identity of the mastermind. Now, I am free to What? Drawing a gun would be most inadvisable. Stay where you are and do not move. Uh, I don't have a gun. You do have a gun, do you not? You intend to draw you intended to draw and fire without anyone noticing. He must have taken it from the body double when he killed him. This man has betrayed his bond of trust with me. He would have killed me. He would have me kill the president, while knowing full well he was the body double. Lying about a target is an extremely dangerous thing to do to an assassin. Not having all the cards on the table can seriously jeopardize an assassination. Ugh. However, what is even more unforgivable is your deception and your attempt to manipulate me. The time has come for your retribution. Stop! Oh, snap! <laughs> Double assassin confrontation!
animation! That is freaking epic! You are. It has been far too long, Shelly. Please, step aside. That man is my prey. I must ask you to spare his life. Please, permit this young acolyte to receive his proper punishment in prison. Wow. This is amazing. And if I refuse? He is the first life I have saved. I will not allow it to be taken away so easily. You saved a life. The assassin, Sir Han Dogen. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? That I, the one who has taken countless lives, and making a plea for this young one's life. He saved my life, just as I have saved his. Before I knew it, I grew quite fond of the lad. You may laugh at me as much as you wish. However, I must ask that you spare the life of the body of the boy. From one assassin to another, please make this allowance. I understand. If you are far willing to go, if you are willing to go that far. You have my thanks. I am in your debt. No need for thanks. I simply felt there would be no merit in a fight to the death with you. That is all. Oh man, who went between those two? <laughs> and with that, I must take my leave. Uh, bye, Shelly! <laughs> Damn it, wait! Prosecutor Edgeworth, I must thank you as well. It was necessary for this young acolyte to be put in his place. And that you have done. Man, Dogen, you're kind of chill for an assassin! Now then, it's time for me to return to my humble cage surrounded by iron bars. Right, Anubis? Right, boy? Oh? Look who's here. Hey, priest guy! You killed my dad, right? Indeed, I am not one to forget those I have slain. <laughs> I see. You must despise me, boy with horns. In that case... Ugh. John! Do not panic. I simply lent the boy with horns my knife. Take that knife and run it through my throat. A single stab should do it. I've long grown wary of my wooden carvings. <laughs> Revenge. John, don't do it! John, please, I beg of you. Throw that knife down! Until just now, I had intended to seek revenge, no matter how many years it took. Revenge? Revenge is good. Really good. All your pain and suffering slips away. Everything becomes numb, and you'll feel nothing. Hello, my name is Simon Keys, and apparently I've learned fuck all this entire fucking case. Jesus Christ. John. But... The only one who would be satisfied with revenge would be myself, right? If I became a murderer, my mom would go through even more pain and suffering. My friends from the movie, too. And all those people who care about me as well. <laughs> the boy with horns says some interesting things. That's right. I finally get it now. I'll never forgive you, but I'm not the one who should punish you. After all, isn't that what my mom and that prosecutor guy are here for? John. Those are some nice words, John. John! You just said some really profound stuff just now! Okay, perhaps you should study a little more yourself. Is that so? 
Well then, young one, it is time for us to depart. Where to? To prison, of course. That place will be our home. Our home? And with that, the case that involved that involved and affected so many people came to a close. However, there was still one last thing I had to do. Yeah, we're back in the PIC meeting room. All right. And the whole gang! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, sorry to keep you waiting. Why'd you call Uncle Ray and the rest of us out here? Mr. Edgeworth. The formal proceedings have just come to a close. What are you talking about? This is the place where I once relinquished my prosecutor's badge. This is your prosecutor's badge. Prosecutor Edgeworth, what is the meaning of this? Consider this my resignation. I am no longer a prosecutor. In order to save me when I was suffering from memory loss, you... A certain man once said, The only ally a defendant has is their attorney. By trusting in their client, an attorney draws closer to the truth. The sight of that man still shines brilliantly in my eyes. We're never gonna show Phoenix right, though! <laughs> Just as the image of my father fighting in court does. Gregory. However, this is nothing more than that man and my father's way of life. It is not mine. Mr. Edgeworth! I think I shall live as a prosecutor after all. I see. So you've made your decision. I'm sorry. No, no. I understand. That's your answer, isn't it? It is. Okay. Then that's the end of this conversation. Don't regret it. Even if you beg me later, I won't let you work for me ever again. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I understand. But you know, Miles, mind if I ask why you chose to live as a prosecutor? Mr. Shields, you asked me this before. To fight crime as a prosecutor, or to save people as a defense attorney. I want you to think carefully about how you want to live your life from now on. I've thought long and hard about that question ever since. How should I live my life? And after this case concluded, I finally found my answer. I want to save people as a prosecutor. As a prosecutor? Simon Keyes. He too was a victim. He lost a parent in a past murder, and with it, the ability to believe in anything else. I too know that feeling. The feeling of losing what's important to you and being unable to believe in anything. I doubted everything during my lonely battles in those days. All that I can hope to do is get every defendant declared guilty. The one who saved me was... OBJECTION! Mr. Phoenix Wright! We're never gonna say his name! I... Is it like taboo to say his name? Mr. Keys must have been all alone. You know what would've been great if they actually stuck the... Objection audio clip there? That went nice. Unable to find salvation from the law, he had no choice but to turn his hand to revenge. And I suppose you never thought to seek help from the police. No way, no way! As long as Blaze was around, any evidence would be destroyed by him. Actually, didn't something like that almost happen today during Patricia's trial? I want to save those like Simon Keys. So, how would you save him? I'm sure this tragedy could have been avoided if only he could have relied on the courts. 
but instead he has he was cornered by Blaze the Best, who used the power of law for evil. The form of the law can change depending on who wields it. It can be at once a shield to protect and a blade to harm. That too is a contradiction of the law. A contradiction, huh? That's true. It sure is a contradiction in the law. The way the law is right now isn't always completely right. The only way the right to right those contradictions is by joining in the court system. The one who could have saved Simon Keys was not an attorney, but rather a watchman of the law, a prosecutor. I shall face the contradictions in the law as a prosecutor. You no, know, it kind of makes sense now that he became chief uh, prosecutor. I see. So that's just like you. But you know, it'll be tough. It won't be just a walk in the park. You'll be going up against the law itself. You do realize that, right? I do. However, someone must. Yep, yep. Uncle Ray believes in you too. The law evolves and grows, just like all of us do. I'm sure you can pull it off. After all, you're Gregory's son. Your old man would never give up, no matter what. His eyes always saw only what laid straight ahead. Miles. When you chose to live as a prosecutor, your eyes looked just like your father's. It looks like you've grown up a bit. I really wish your old man could see you now. Thank you very much, Mr. Shields. So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, allow me to formally return this to you. Please do. My badge! I, Justine Courtney, as a member of the PIC, do hereby return to Miles Edgeworth the rights and privileges of a prosecutor in the name of the Goddess of Law. <sighs> Welcome back, badge. I missed you. An entire case without it. And with that, Prosecutor Edgeworth is revived! Again. That's great, sir! So then, Prosecutor Edgeworth, it's time for Uncle Ray to make his exit. I have to report to your old man all about the traitor in the Edgeworth family. <laughs> Thank you for everything, truly. The next time we meet, just might be in the courtroom. I hope you'll be ready. Uncle Ray might not look it, but he's an ace attorney after all. I'll look forward to seeing the attorney my father trained in action. <laughs> Later, Ray! Take care. I want him to come back. I need, to, I need him to come back to a future game. I don't know how, but he needs to. Prosecutor Edgeworth, welcome back. Judge Courtney, I must give my thanks to you as well. To me. You sought to fix the corruption within the PIC from the inside. That must truly have been a lonely battle. No, it was not, for I was never alone. Because the goddess of law is always by your side, right? You made me realize that one could fight in such a way. The prosecutor's office, no, the entire legal world is caught up in this contradiction. If that cannot be set right, there is a truth that will never see the light of day. It was only through your help that I was able to find this new path. One that fights against the contradictions in the law. I, too, find that promising, as one in the service of the Goddess of Law. You shall certainly succeed in helping the law grow. Let us meet again in the courtroom. Yes. I must apologize for my shameful acts during the trial two days ago. Next time, I shall fulfill my duties as a judge perfectly. Your Honor. I do not intend to speak regarding your ideals. Prosecutor Edgeworth. However, the great the greatest judge I know is one overflowing with humanity. Even during a trial, that judge experiences happiness, anger, sadness, and joy. But nevertheless, always hand down the correct verdict in the end. It's difficult to say. 
but sometimes I feel that perfection is not always correct. So, a judge, too, has the right to behave in such a manner. Thank you very much. Prosecutor Edgeworth, when I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best, the goddess of law was not the only one by my side. Uh, it's John! When I have this cutout with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. No matter how painful things became, no matter how strong the foe. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. Wrongs must be put right, for John's sake as well. John too lost his father in a past crime. That is more important to me than even the words of the Goddess of Law. <laughs> Though I'm sure the Goddess would be angered by those words. Your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. I don't have to be perfect. I just want to grow little by little. Both as a judge and as a mother. That is how I feel. <laughs> I, it seems there is much of each of us has yet to learn. Agreed. We are still but children before the world. Let us grow in our respective paths until we meet again. I shall look forward to that reunion. May the blessings of the Goddess of Law be upon you as you follow your new path. So long, Courtney. That was really insightful. <laughs> Though I once lost my position as a prosecutor, I have now reclaimed it. So that I may tread a new path as a prosecutor. I shall surely reach the truth waiting at the end of this path, no matter how difficult the path may be. If any seek to stop me on my path, they shall receive no mercy. No matter who they may be, I will shout. Objection. <laughs> Sorry, I had no control of the text. It just went on without me. And we're done! Oh! Whew. Oh! I'm so... Oh my god. Ah. Uh, okay. Um. I'm not sure if I'm going to read this, so I'm just going to let this just roll on its own. But... That was it! The entire Ace Attorney Investigation 2 fan translation version. Which, I gotta say, good job, good job. I quite like what I went through with this game. And still far more enjoyable to get through than Ace Attorney Investigation 1. Definitely a lot more improvements to this one. The cases were actually interesting. All of them were actually interesting. The characters in this were interesting. Uh, my problem with this, but that is pretty much more or less the issue that the Ace Attorney Investigation uh, Department have problems with, is real character development. You kind of just, like, go from one character to the next, and you don't really... Nothing really sticks with them, you know, in a sense? Like, not really. But overall, the, um... All the clues, all the cases came together beautifully towards the end. Uh, I think the I think the final um, testimony and everything went a little too long for my taste, but at least it wasn't too bad compared to the last case in one. That was painful to get through. It was really frustrating, mostly because I just wanted it to end. It, it was that lack of interest that I had for that. I mean, I do plan to go into get Investigation 1, but honestly, that's like bottom of my priority list right now. But I think they've established the characters in this one a little bit better than what they did in the first one. I don't really like what they did with Courtney though, like it, I understand where she was coming from, but she was so, so flat for a while. Like she didn't really get proper character development until 4, honestly, and it was just, it just flat, it just didn't work for me. I think. I think they could have done that a little bit better for her, because she just sounded like a broken record after a while. I mean, what her purpose and what her like her reasons for doing what she did, it's great, it's nice, it's just poorly executed. I didn't like it very much. Sebastian! <laughs> Bless, when I first played through the game, I just did have not, didn't want anything to do with him, and he's still kind of great towards the earlier cases, even though I knew exactly what happened to him towards the end. But, he's a uh, prosecutor. 
And one of my wishes is maybe seeing him in a future game because, I mean, I think he has more space to develop. I want to see where he goes now that he's reached a resolve. I want to see him stick with it. And honestly, I know maybe he will never show again because it's, uh, investigation is in its own little niche place, but I want to see him go against Apollo Justice. Because think about it, their mentors, well, the people they aspire to be, is Phoenix Wright and Miles Edgeworth. So in a sense, they're like the predecessors of those two. And it would be so cool to have those two together and like uh, compete with each other in a courtroom. But, I don't know, that's just a wish of mine, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. I think my least favorite case, uh, to be honest, is kind of crossed between the fourth and the second. Um, I, I really wasn't digging the Amnesia K thing, if I had to be honest. That, that case was just kind of weird for me. I don't, I, I can't really explain what my problem was with it, it's just, I, I don't know. And then the second case, well, it was interesting, but it didn't keep my interest very much after a while. It was just your basic general kind of mystery case for the most part, so. I, I mean, I do love Dogen, though. The introduction for Dogen was great. Uh, but overall, this is a good game. I wouldn't say, like, number one Ace Attorney game or anything, because it still has its problems here and there. But it's definitely up there. It's pretty good. Like, I don't know, maybe my top three. Top five, maybe. I don't know. I need to go back and play the older games again, because it's been forever since I've been through them. Uh, my favorite case in this entire thing? It's probably the third. Yeah, I know, it's really long, but it was kind of nice to go back and just experience what Gregory did back in the day. Although, seriously, he had to wait until Christmas Day to think about getting a present for Edgeworth? I don't know. That doesn't work. Really, whatever, Gregory. It's pretty long. Fifth case was also pretty long. See, I would have liked the fifth case a little bit more if it didn't have so much things piling onto it. You know? Especially when the final portion of the case basically rolls back to every single case we went through the game. Which, again, which is what makes this, this game really good. Because everything that we've done from previous cases all come back. And it's done pretty well. And I like it. I, I think if I had to compare this with Dual Destinies, because uh, I have to be honest, the way the outcome for both cases play out, very similar kind of thing, because you have basically this mastermind that's been behind everything, and there was some case that happened in the past. It basically plays out the same way like Dual Destiny did with Case 5 and The Phantom, but this one plays out emotionally better than what happened at the end of Case 5 of Dual Destiny, in my opinion. So. I think this case 5 was a little bit stronger than the case 5 in Dual Destinies. That, but that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me or anything like that. Hi, Larry! Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game. Um, I highly, if you can, if there's any possible way you can do this, definitely play this one. It, you might, it, you might cry a little if you've never done Investigation 1, because yes, there's a couple things that are just not working with that first game. But I promise you the second one is a lot better. And it's a lot more engaging to get through. Satisfying. And... Yeah. That's pretty much it. Oh shit, it's bad! What did bad do? Oh, he's bringing him back for the IS-7 incident! Well, I'm kind of sad I won't get to work with him, but I'll continue to watch over him. <laughs> Looks like you've grown quite a bit yourself, punk. <laughs> Mr. Bat actually praised me. Aww! That's nice that they brought him back for that. <laughs> that banner just said unofficial translation. <laughs> That's cute. My crimes were punished far more leniently than I expected. Once it was proven that I had been threatened. Ouch! No, 
crime is more heavy or light than any other. I'm sorry, of course I regret what I did. However, I'm so glad I can still be together with you, Granny. Huh? You want to hurry back to work? <laughs> That's right. The next corpse is waiting for us, after all. That's great. And that's funny. See, I usually don't read the end texts at the end because they go too fast, but apparently these don't go that fast. And I think they introduced Am Emma into this a little bit better. Some of the cameos actually play out a lot better this time. Um, <laughs> I still kind of wish Old Bag showed up at some point in this. That would have been hilarious. But some of the cameos, like I said, worked out a little bit better this time around. It was better placed, in my opinion. Emma still seems kind of in a weird spot, though. Like... I was training in Europe, but now I'm here for this and this. It's, I don't know. That, that that reasoning seemed a little too... Uh, didn't work for me. I've run out of things to say now because I'm pretty much done having all my thoughts put out for this game. Um, I will say after this game, my objective is to start working on Apollo Justice. But that game will be a little... Uh, I'm playing it by ear right now because I'm actually waiting for Ace Attorney 6 news because I do plan to actually do an LP for that one. So, depending on how that rolls out, I may actually stop doing Apollo Justice in the middle of it to go and do a 6. That's, that's, rhyme, that's my bigger priority. But I'll come back to Apollo Justice at some point when I finish with that one. But I, it's my objective to try and, like, release these a lot more quicker because uh, I think it took a year to even get Dual Destiny out. But I guess in that situation, I had some, I had some actual voice work going on in the last case. And that kind of held us back a bit. I won't be doing that too much my um, just because it takes way too long to get things rolling with that stuff and keeping people, like, interested. So... What I'm probably gonna do, and I won't do it again this time around, is the next time I do this, if I have any guest voices, they will not be like obvious culprits or anything like that. Uh, I just started doing that because, well, Barn Karma is way too deep for me, and I was like, no, I'm going to get someone else. But then it started to become a trend. But I realized going into this that, especially with some of the later games, some of the earlier ones, maybe not so much, but the later ones, um, Oh, Pro ZD is Gregory Edgeworth. Got it. Awesome. Anyway, but um, going into this, some of the games that are like very rarely seen or out, I can't do that anymore, unfortunately, which is sad. But I will, I'll randomize the voice cast a little bit more so it's not so obvious. And I apologize for like if it kind of ruined the experience, but you know, again, it won't happen again. It'll be a little bit more randomized. So, don't worry about that. And... Well, that's it, I guess. That's pretty much all I got now. I still gotta do Undertale. I might be doing Project Cross Zone pretty soon. And that's pretty much my plans for the future. And I guess with that, we'll let the credits continue to roll. And I will see you guys in whatever the next series I create. So I'll see you guys then in the next video.
oh, it's a good thing I sat down and came back and didn't move anywhere because, hello, I didn't know there was a scene afterwards. <laughs> wow, we're really busy with all those cases, weren't we, sir? Indeed, we were. Why did all these incidents happen in such quick succession? What is this track that's playing? I feel like things are always busy whenever I'm around. Wait, Kay, wouldn't that mean you're a magnet for crimes? Hey, Gummy, that was rude. I do get the impression that he's not entirely wrong. So then, Kay, do you intend to resume your training to become a great thief? Huh, I don't know. Huh? There's something on your mind, pal? How should I put it? Until now, I've always been chasing after my father. So that I could become a great thief, just like him. Like the previous Yatagarasu, I suppose. But watching you, Mr. Edgeworth, made me think. Maybe instead of chasing after my father, I should find my own path. I mean, you didn't become a defense attorney either. Chasing after a parent's shadow isn't the only path in life for a child, after all. I'm going to aim to be a hero in my own way! That sounds good. But of course, that doesn't mean I'm gonna throw away the name of the great thief Yatagarasu. No matter what sort of hero you become, Kay, what, uh, what sort of hero you become, Kay will always still be Kay. Thanks, Gummy. And Gummy will always be Gummy. Of course, pal. I plan to keep pushing forward on my path of a detective, after all. Mr. Edgeworth, I look forward to continuing to work with you, sir. Yes, I'll be counting on you, Detective Gumshoe. Detective, you saved me many times during these past cases. You have my gratitude. I suggest you look forward to your next salary assessment. <gasps> A raise? Huh? What? D does that mean what I think it means? What's wrong? I am saying that your salary ought to be raised. <gasps> really, sir? Oh, I can't believe it! Me either! Isn't that great, Gummy? It's like a dream come true! I can finally say goodbye to my instant noodle lifestyle! Are you sure? How many times have you dropped your salary? However, that doesn't mean you can start slacking off. The real work begins from here on out. You should prepare for yourself. Yes, sir! Roger that! I'll devote my body and soul to following after you, Mr. Edgeworth! He got a raise! The path Mr. Shields and Judge Courtney taught me is to take a stand against the contradictions in the law and to reach the truth at the end of that road. See, that's the other thing. I like the message at the end of this, too. What, what am I able to do? That is a question I must continue to dwell upon. Certainly, this path will not be easy. However, Prosecutor Edgeworth, when I pursued and fought against Blaze the Best, the Goddess of Law was not the only one by my side. Ah, uh, it's John! When I have this cutout with me, I feel a strange sense of courage well up from within. When I remember that I am not alone, I am able to keep moving forward. <laughs> your bond with your son is the secret to your strength, I imagine. Bonds. Huh. Uh, oh, I completely forgot! That was sudden. What's wrong? I was searching for members for the new Yatagarasu team! Now that you mention it, I do remember you saying something to that effect. But in the end, I wasn't even able to find a single person. Can you imagine it? A team combining their powers in order to steal the truth! I wanted to create an invincible team like that, but... What are you saying, pal? Don't you already have a team? Together, the three of us can solve any case that comes our way. Yeah, you're right. A prosecutor, a detective, and a great thief. We're the invincible trio of heroes that steals, captures, and pursues the truth. Hearing all that kind of makes me feel sorry for the truth. <laughs> as long as the three of us are together, there's nothing to fear. Isn't that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, you are correct. 
Even until his last moments, my father ran along his own path. I, too, shall advance along mine. Accompanied by my somewhat boisterous comrades. As long as they are by my side, I can walk forward without hesitation. On this new path as a prosecutor. Prosecutors and attorneys. The path I walk is not my father's. However, I am certain that the two paths are not separate. Though we may walk in opposite directions, our destination is the same. Why, you may ask? Because both paths lead to the one and only truth. Oh my god. Oh, okay, now, now I'm done. I'm officially done. Oh, that last part. Ah. Okay, I'm done. I'm getting tissues. And I'll see you guys in whatever series I plan to tackle in the next video. I'll see you guys then.